find the general solution of the given system. So here's the given system. First, you need to rewrite it in. Um, you need to put it into x vector x prime, which basically you take the leading coefficient of x and y, put it into this matrix and multiply by lambda, uh, multiply by vector x. Then you are going to find a minus lambda i, where is a. Let's call this matrix a. Subtract with lambda i that gives you this matrix. Then find its determinant. It gives you this. Distribute this out. Simplify it. And set this equal to zero. Solve for lambda. I got lambda equals four plus or minus i. Okay. So here's the complex eigenvalues. So let's take a look at the case when lambda equals four plus i. Plug it into this matrix. It gives you this matrix and then augment it with zero. Okay. So I know this will give me infinite solutions. So instead of going to all of those matrices to reduce down to base matrix, I can use either one of these matrices to solve for the unknown directly. Let's let's see the first equation. I have k2 equals negative one plus i k1. If I choose k11, then k2 is negative one plus i. Then my vector k is one negative one plus i. Okay, now it's time to write our final answer. So because you have complex eigenvalues, your final answer will be given in this form: vector x equals c1 times vector x1 plus c2 times vector x2. Let me go over the formula first. So what is your x vector x1? Vector x1 is vector b1 times cosine beta t minus beta vector b vector b2 psi beta t or multiply by e to the alpha t and for the second solution you just switch vector b2 and b1 and then change the sign everything else stays same what's b1 what's vector b1 vector b1 is the real part of k, vector k which is 1 negative 1 in this case b2 is imaginary part of vector k which is 0 1 alpha is real part of lambda which is 4 beta is the imaginary part of lambda which is 1 don't take the uh, psi okay so let's go back here you have uh, vector x equals c1 times vector x1 which is vector b as 1 negative 1 times cosi beta is 4 oh, beta is the uh, imaginary part of lambda which is 1 so you have cosi t minus b2 is the imaginary part of k which is 0 1 times psi t okay and I multiply by e to the alpha t alpha is the real part of lambda which is 4 so you have e to the 4 t in this case I, distrib I already distributed in okay and for the second solution you just take this and this put it over here change the psi and then switch the position of these two vectors okay you can stop at this step but if you want to simplify down you can do it by multiply this out and combine them together so let's see so you have c1 if you multiply this uh, I, I factor down e to the 4t okay so for this one I left with cosine t plus 0 or minus 0 which is cosine t down here I have negative cosine t minus psi t okay similarly for this one you have factor out e to the 4t first inside the back inside the matrix you have 0 plus psi t which is psi t cos psi t minus psi t okay hope that makes sense that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time